It came in the spring just about a year ago, at a time when we were expecting flowers. Instead, we got the flu. It's hard to believe that nearly a year has passed. We hadn't seen a flu like this in more than four decades, and nobody was really sure what to expect. Like every flu pandemic, this one would cause fear and disruption and more than a little frustration. And while thankfully it never came close to the severest of pandemics, this one also had its share of pain. And for 32 families here in Massachusetts who lost a loved one to H1N1 flu, well, for them, this was the worst flu pandemic in history. We've learned a lot over the last year about ourselves, the importance of public health, and preparing for emergencies. But most of all, we've learned how partnerships during tough times make us stronger. And we've learned how many amazing people and agencies work every day protecting the health of our residents. This is just a few of their stories. Dealing with H1N1 has been uh, a challenge. Um, it was certainly something that local public health has prepared for for a number of years. We've been thinking about a pandemic and what that possibly might mean for local public health, but having the pandemic upon us potentially was really a challenge and something that we had to think critically about. It was difficult uh, to respond this year based on really the economic times that we find ourselves in and some of the communication strategies that needed to be put in place in order to be successful. So I think economically it was a challenge and then local public health is challenged in so many ways in terms of our budgets. We never have enough money to do all that we need to do. And so this uh, pandemic really stretched uh, resources that were really just uh, non-existent on some levels. Local public health, oftentimes in many situations, is not appreciated and valued for how important it is to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and to the nation. We are really that structure that protects the residents that we all work with. And so when we look into the future, what we recognize is that we have really shown that we have the ability to perform. We have really proven on a very broad level that we have the ability as health agents and as local public health really to deliver on that commitment to protect the health of the residents um, that we serve. While the story of our flu pandemic may not be over, many chapters of service have already been written by thousands of local health professionals, doctors, nurses, people who work in our schools, our hospitals, our community health centers, professionals and volunteers alike. They did it because their communities needed them. They did it because that's what they were trained to do or simply called to do. They did it because every flu pandemic has its public health heroes. And now, we have ours.